And now here's a good example of some cereal here. You go to Honey Nut Cheerios, it's $4.72. This is not a good buy. Um, right here, and it says large size, and then you go to the family size of Honey Nut Cheerios and the Millville brand, and it's two sixty-five. And look at the size of the box difference, right there, four seventy-two and two sixty-five. That's your difference right there. I'd go with the Millville. Someone said that this is really good cereal. Then you have some oranges here, navel oranges, four sixty-nine. Oh, look at this one. See that? That's what you got to watch out for. Now this is this is the hot buy right here, $2.29 a pound for boneless, skinless chicken breast right there, all natural. That's the hot buy right there. A tiny case, 10 ounces. Now the water's 10 ounces. Look at this. Look at the little 10 ounce water bottles. I guess the 12 ounces and the one and the half liters are gone now because they have to get it down to $3.59. So you're paying more and you're getting less. This is a prime example of it right there. $3.59. Pay more, get less. But here's your Supreme for $7.99, and this thing weighs three pounds. It's a three-pound Supreme pizza for $8. The Build Back Better Grinch that stole Christmas is looting the working middle class. That's what he's doing, I'm telling you what. They're printing money 24-7, 365, devaluing our dollar. That's what they're doing. And look at this. I'm here at Aldi because we have to save every penny we can because we're penny pinchers now because we can't afford to put food on the table. And all the people with fixed income, I mean, they're really suffering with this. Everybody is. I mean, uh, your your energy bills, I mean, my, my homeowner's insurance, my car insurance. It's crazy. I have to keep lowering the liability because they keep raising the prices. Everything just keeps on going up. And our wages, what do they do? They go up 2 to 3% every year. And then they, and inflation is just skyrocketing. It, it's just ridiculous. Well, anyways, here, we're here at Aldi today. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to look for some hot buys, see what we can get. I'm trying to find some pepper and seedy and some, uh, I forget what you call these, uh, the little yellow pepper rings. Those are really good. I like those. And I noticed one thing about Aldi's. They don't refrigerate their celery, their lettuce, or any of that stuff. I think that's how they save on money. And uh, last time I was in here, the vegetables and the fruits look pretty good. But we're going to go in here, check some prices. Let's have some fun. I tell you what, this is this is Aldi right here, and, and this place is packed. There's people going in here right and left. There's hardly any baskets left, and uh, I've I've got my quarter right here. Here's my here's my quarter. <laughs> yeah, you can't forget this dang thing. Look at that. That's all the carts that are left. Every it's probably packed inside. So let's go in. Let's check some prices. Once you walk in the door, I see they have mandarins for three fifty nine here. They're little tiny ones, but still they're three fifty nine. Yeah, they don't look the best, but uh, how many pounds you get? You get three pounds, a little over a buck a pound. A dollar, dollar eighty nine for pineapples here, and uh, they don't look too bad. I mean, they're not a dull. Green beans are a buck seventy nine, and um, they could look better, <laughs> you know. Two sixty nine for some Granny Smith apples here. Looks like three pounds. They don't look bad. They don't look bad. Two sixty nine. That's about the cheapest I've ever seen them. And they have bananas here, 57 cents a pound, same prices at Walmart. Ah, oh, some of these don't look too good, but uh, you just have to look for them. You know, they never, bananas never last long anyway. Then you have some oranges here, navel oranges, 469. Oh, look at this one. See that? That's what you got to watch out for. You got to watch out for the guys. Yep. Always check your food here. Now the lemons are 389. And I think that's a little pricey for lemons here. Oh, look at this. There's hardly any in this bag. There's four lemons in this bag for $3.89. Four lemons for $3.89. It's one pound. It says lemons. $1.95 per pound, but there's only... Maybe they're maybe they're selling it per, per the pound here, but it says $3.89 for the bag. Very confusing. Limes are $2.45 here. So this is, this is confusing. It says limes are... 245 a pound so yeah you have to be careful when you get to the register here that's for sure organic avocados oh my gosh there's four of them three dollars and 69 cents organic zucchini is 229 like i said none of this is refrigerated it feels soft this feels soft and the avocados they're a little soft and um here's some of the bigger avocados a buck 89 those are a buck eighty-nine. Oh, <laughs> that's really busy here. Look at the organic pears, three sixty-nine, non-refrigerated. I don't know if you need to refrigerate them. 
and these tomatoes are two six two eighty nine two eighty nine for these guys and you know, tomatoes on the vine you know <laughs> they're not these are hot house tomatoes anyway and here's some peppers for a dollar ninety nine and there's some rotten ones in there yeah they don't they don't look the best here then the green peppers are two twenty nine for for three of them and um, they're from Illinois and here's these expensive uh, jalapenos. Okay, you get a few more in here for 95 cents. 95 cents, and like I said, they still, they grow billions of them here, all from Illinois. All from Illinois, and the, and the tri peppers here are 289. And, you know, that's still under a dollar each. They're kind of small. Look at how the bags are ripped. It's, it's not the best quality stuff, I think, for the packaging, though. Just not. What else do they have? 499 for the party pack of tomatoes right here. $4.49 for those. Nah, I wouldn't buy them. Potatoes or yellow potatoes are $3.99 and you get five pounds. And what else do you have? Russet potatoes are $4.19 for five pounds. $4.19 for five pounds, so that's not too bad. And $2.99 for these one pound. Are these one pound? They might be a little bit more. They're uh, 24 ounces for these, $2.99. I think that's pricey myself, and $2.99 for the bite-sized medleys here. I think that's that's 24 ounces as well. Garlic, this is pricey, $1.49 for garlic. Ooh. You know, you have to be careful what you're looking for in Aldi. This is not a good buy right there. Ginger root is $1.99. Um, I don't know about that. I, I don't think so, it seems dry. And this is not a good buy here. There's no way. Baby Dutch yellows. They look good, but I won't pay that price. $2.99. Uh, here's some sourdough bread for $3.49. If you go to Whole Foods, oh, it's cold too. If you go to Whole Foods, it's six or seven dollars for one loaf. Of course, it's Whole Foods and uh, non-GMO, so that's not too bad. $3.49. Oh, this is keto-friendly wheat bread. Oh, $4.35. Look at this miniature loaf. It's 14 ounces. 435 for that. I don't think this is a good buy at all. It may be because it's keto friendly. Well, it's not price friendly, that's for sure. Protein bread, 429. These are some mighty tiny loaves. See, this is all we're relegated to right now. Are these little tiny loaves of stuff? 249 for for tomato spinach wraps. This is probably the cheapest I've seen because they're really expensive, but that that's still high. Oh my gosh, 649 for this. Look at this Live G free. Well, <laughs> the bread isn't free. Gluten free. That's what it means. Look at that. Six fifty. That's the highest price thing I've seen here so far. I don't think this is a good buy at all. That's a bad buy. Holy cow. Bad buy there. Stay away. The garlic knots. You would think that these would have to be refrigerated, so they must have a lot of preservatives in them. Eight knots. Oh, jeez. Hit me over the head with a knot if I spend two eighty nine on that. Oh, look at you. It says you save. You save six cents if you buy it. Look at 295 to 289. Here's more garlic bread, 289. I don't know. This this doesn't look the best to me. And these Hawaiian rolls are off brands for 275. I don't consider that a good buy either. 239 for deli rolls. And where's this wheat bread, $1.85 right here? That's not too bad. That's not a bad buy. Butter bread is 209. And here's just your weg regular, I said regular. <laughs> I've been watching with the rabbit, oh, the cartoons, $1.29 for the um, split top wheat bread right here. I want the white bread. I want this white bread, it's $1.29 for this. And looks like they sell a lot of it here. I think that's not a bad buy right there. That's a good buy, I'm gonna go with that. And I don't think the brioche, but you know what? This is as light as a feather, 10 ounces, three, three ninety nine for brioche. And um, <laughs> I don't think any brioche is a good buy, to tell you the truth. Here's some of the Roth brand cookies, and here's some of the fig bars. $1.95, chewy fruit-filled cookies. Uh, that's heavy. 14 ounces. They're always heavy. They sit in your stomach like a rock. $1.95. And then the, the peanut butter fudge cookies are $1.75. And these marshmallow fudge cookies are $2.29. And some of these, look at these coconut ones. I really like coconut. Oh, caramel coconut fudge. Oh, geez. My three favorite things. Eight and a half ounces, $2.29, though. Oh, look at this mint striped cookies. $1.95. $1.95, 11.5 ounces. You notice how the cookie packages are getting smaller. 
they're getting smaller. Here's the fudge stripes, 13 ounces. So you got 13, 11 and a half, eight and a half ounces, 12 ounces. The whole trend is the prices are down, but so is the quantity, 11.3 ounces. Everything is getting smaller. You're paying more and you're getting less. And once you move into the Chips Ahoy, 598. Once you get into the name brand here, you're you're gonna pay more. It goes right up. Then you get into the Chewy non-name brand for a buck ninety-nine, still 13 ounces. Yep, pay more, get less. But you know that's why the price is low. They give you less of it too. Now Aldi even has a uh, kind of like a houseware section. They sell pots and pans and look at this even little tiny uh, quilts right here. Christmas socks. A little bit of Christmas crap. Look at these are $4.99 for these guys. These throwaways. $4.99 for not a throwaway. They're a, they're a throw. You might as well just throw it away. But it's $4.99. That's really good. This is a good price just for a little throw. You know it's cheesy, but you know what the heck? They have some candles here, $10. Flameless LED candle set. Oh my gosh, cheesy stuff. A, a gnome, $8.99. Like I said, more cheesy Christmas crap, but you know what the heck? Here we have a lighter, $3.99. Try getting that at Walmart, and there's a two pack for four bucks. That's a good deal right there. And I think the throws are a good deal too. And just look at some plugs and stuff. I mean, they just have a, a great assortment of stuff. I kind of like it. I wanted to check their silver foil here. And here's their silver foil, heavy duty, $3.69. And you get how many square feet on this guy? 50 square feet, 369. Ah, that's probably comparable. Parchment papers, 259. 45 square feet, 259. Little pricey, but this is the only silver foil they have. Oh, and then they have one of these big pants. Look at it, it's a dollar nineteen. And you buy one, you go to the other stores and you have to buy a whole set of it. A dollar nineteen for one of the uh, roaster pans. That's not bad. That's a buy right there for the silver foil pan. Let's check out their ground beef, $6.19 a pound. That's not a bargain whatsoever. $6.19 a pound, and this is one pound, a little over a pound, $6.99. And then they have some that's $5.99 a pound. That doesn't look bad. This one looks better because you have to have some fat in there. And let me see, organic grass-fed right here is $5.99 for a pound of this. What else do they have? Grass-fed, here's grass-fed New York strips, $11.49, that's not a bargain. That's not a buy. And then they have their Black Angus right here, $13.99 a pound. This, this steak here is $17. $17 for this steak right here. <laughs> I gotta get it right. $13.99 a pound and this is $17, so that's not a bargain. So I don't, I don't think the meats are a bargain, but it's not Aldi's fault. I mean, all meat is high now. Black Angus sirloin tip roast, $6.29 a pound. And sirloin's a fairly inexpensive cut. And this is $15 for that right there. This, this little roast, could you imagine that? Sirloin, $15. My gosh. Ground bison is $8 a pound. And I tried it. I, I, I think it's, I don't, I don't like it and it's too lean, too lean. Whole organic turkeys. Look at these guys. $52 for an organic turkey. That's a little pricey, don't you think? $55 for an organic turkey. I know. Wow. <laughs> Chicken breast right here. Here's a bargain. $229. $12 for all these guys. Look how thick that is. That's a lot. There's a lot here for 12 bucks. 5.34 pounds boneless, skinless chicken breast with rib meat. That's a good buy right there. That's a good buy. Chicken thighs here are $1.99. I paid $1.38 at Sam's Club. At Sam's. Of course, you're at Sam's, you're at a club, but here it's a buck ninety-nine. And the boneless, skinless chicken thighs are a dollar more, $2.99 a pound. So there's your meat prices. Now this is this is the hot buy right here, $2.29 a pound for boneless, skinless chicken breast right there, all natural. That's the hot buy right there. There's your chicken prices. Oh, just before I was walking away, I noticed this. They do have the free range here, chickens, and it's $6.49 a pound organic. In this little package here, it's 1.1 pound is $7.46, but look at that. Fresh organic chicken breast strips, $7.29 up here. Holy smolies, brother Andy. That's too pricey for me. No way, I will not go with that. I'll go with the chicken breasts here. Whole chickens are $6.25 each. 
and this chicken here is $14.93 for this one here, hatched, raised, and harvested in the USA, $2.79 a pound for one of these organic ones. That's, that's a little pricey, don't you think? Holy smolies, for one chicken! Remember the days you used to get them for a couple bucks? Yeah, those are long, long gone. In the Gatorade, there's no bargains on this stuff. $7.28 for Gatorade. In, at Walmart, it's $7.48. I don't know why. This is just high fructose corn syrup flavored water with a couple vitamins in it. And that's all it is. Just a ripoff. And looks like you get one gallon of purified water for $1.19. And it's one, one even gallon right here. But it's purified. Just probably just tap water for $1.19. And you get a, a case, a tiny case, 10 ounces. Now the water's 10 ounces. Look at this. Look at the little... 10 ounce water bottles. I guess the 12 ounces and the one and the half liters are gone now because they have to get it down to three dollars and 59 cents. So you're paying more and you're getting less. This is a prime example of it right there. 3.59. Pay more, get less. Now one thing I wanted to point out is they do have affordable wine here, and all this stuff called the Winking Owl is three dollars and 45 cents. All of it. All this stuff is three dollars and 45 cents, except for this stuff is. It's a box, $12.95. But other than that, all this wine is $3.45. I don't know how it'll taste, but 12% alcohol by volume. So <laughs> there you go, the Winking Owl wine, $3.45. Let's check out to see how many turkeys they have left here. Oh, they even sell macaroons here. Look at this, if I pronounced it right, I don't see the price. Why would they not have a price on these darn things? Come on, guys, holiday macaroons. I, I don't see the price. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but in scones, mini scones. Oh, here they are. Mini scones, $5.29. Oh, the macaroons, $7.99 for the guys. That's pricey. That's not a bargain. They have ducks here, $3.69 a pound for the guys, and that duck is $23 for that one. And they do have turkeys here. Boneless turkey breast, $3.99 a pound. Smoked turkey for $2.49. And the butter balls. The butter balls are 99 cents here. Look at the butter balls. 99 cents. That's a deal right there. And that's what I have. It's thawing in my um, in my refrigerator right now. 99 cents for the butter balls. That's a bargain. Now let's check out the mayonnaise. They do have the off-brand mayonnaise. Berman's, three dollars and 19 cents. And they have Duke's, the name of my Labrador, right here. 464, 464 straight in the camera out. And they do have olives here for $1.59. Look at that. That's a good price on that. And the Kalamata olives here are $2.09. That's a really good price. Then they have some of these select jalapeno and garlic filled olives. $2.98 for that. And the canned olives. I don't know why they're always expensive. A buck seventy-five. And then they have the pepperoncini. Not pepperoncini, but the this is what I wanted, the banana ring peppers. A banana pepper rings, <laughs> $2.29. I, I mean, this is probably the cheapest you're going to find it anywhere, so that's a good buy. And this is a really good buy, and these are a really great buy right there. Kalamata olives. Oh, the Miracle Whip is $5.48. The Hellman's, no, the real mayonnaise, $5.48. The Hellman's is $5.48 as well. My gosh, I mean, the Miracle Whip. Oh, I'm getting all confused here. But you see the prices anyway. You buy the name brand, you're going to pay more. And they have a crap load of pizzas, and I don't know what they taste like. I've never bought one before, but just your 16-inch pepperoni is $7.19, and sausage and pepperoni is $7.50. A mega meat, oh mega meat, oh, they serve it with a rib spreader. There's a piece of chicken on that thing. It looked like it, $7.49. And here's some that were regular $5.69 or $4.89, and they're 12 ounces pepperoni and mozzarella. Now, I don't know, I've never tried the flatbread, and I do like the flatbread pizzas, but here's your Supreme for $7.99, and this thing weighs three pounds. It's a three pound Supreme pizza for $8. I wouldn't mind trying it. I don't know what it would taste like. Put in the comments below, if anybody's ever had an Aldi Supreme pizza, I'd like to know. But look at all the pizzas you get here. Holy smoly, brother Andy. Oh, here's the cauliflower, $2.79. I guess you're not going to get it cheaper, any cheaper anywhere else. There are small heads, but uh, $2.79. And the strawberries are $3.50. They don't look so good. The grapes are $5.99. Ah, I'd rather buy them at Sam's. You have some tiny ones and big ones here. Raspberries are $2.69 for six ounces. 
Cantaloupe chunks, 329. Pineapple here, 350. And stuffed artichoke mushrooms, 429. I don't know about those. And now here's a good example of some cereal here. You go to Honey Nut Cheerios, it's $4.72. This is not a good buy. Um, right here, and it says large size. And then you go to the family size of Honey Nut Cheerios in the Millville brand, and it's $2.65. And look at the size of the box difference right there. $4.72 and $2.65. That's your difference right there. I'd go with the Millville. Someone said that this is really good cereal. Instead of buying the name brand, it's as large size, and it's not even as large as the Millville. It's family size that's large, so you're paying more. Uh, you're paying double for that, almost double. And it seems like no matter where you go, paper plates are really high. Three dollars and nine cents for these twenty-ounce paper uh, plate bowls. Twenty-four of them, five ninety-nine for this. That's ridiculous. And ten nineteen for these guys. Everyday plates, you get a hundred of them for ten dollars, ten cents each. Six oh nine for these ultras. Holy smolies! Three thirty-nine is the cheapest I could find, and you get seventy of these cheap paper plates and these are just the cheap junk 339 so none of these are buys at all no way I almost forgot your uh, plastic spoon here your cutlery 699 for plastic why has this stuff gone up so high it's just plastic well because I, I think they use petroleum when they're making plastic that's why I mean everything's made with plastic that's why it's so high 699 look at even your cups 419 for these cups just plastic cups you toss them out and it's four dollars and nineteen cents and look at this one package of napkins is a dollar eighteen a dollar eight or do, i'm sorry a dollar eighty nine that's ridiculous that is totally ridiculous a hundred of these these have to be paper thin well they are they're paper napkins a buck eighty nine well that's gonna wrap it up for today that was our uh, a shopping tour and uh discount shopping here at aldi because that's what we're relegated to we have to save money you gotta come to aldi that's for sure i tell you but the, the one thing i did notice is a lot of the uh, uh vegetables they weren't refrigerated and the store wasn't that cold and i did notice there was some rotted uh, produce in there and you just have to watch it when you buy but i thought the onions were good some of the pepper and uh the meats the meats weren't any different in price than they were at Walmart or anywhere anywhere else. Meat's always gonna be high. But I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Give me a thumbs up for like, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see ya.